welcome back to another video so we will be comparing the s23 ultra and the google pixel 6a so in this video we will be checking if the pixel 6a will be able to give any kind of competition to the s23 ultra well i know that is something big to expect from the pixel 6a but we cannot ignore the fact that the pixel 6a really outperformed even the iphone 14 pro in terms of photography last year so with high hopes in mind, I'm going to go ahead and make this comparison for you guys. Let's head right into the video and see who wins the battle. Is it the Samsung S23 Ultra or the Google Pixel 6a? So if you've not seen my Samsung S23 Ultra review video yet, please go ahead and watch that. You'll be able to find it in the i button. Let's talk about the Pixel 6a guys. As we all know what happened in the last year. The Pixel 6a even outperformed the 14 Pro Max in terms of photography. And that is what compelled me to make this video guys. I wanted to push the Pixel 6a even further to see if it can give any kind of competition to a 2023 flagship as well. Without wasting much of your time, let me show you the camera tests that I have done. You can be the best judge and see for yourself. Smartphone cameras have come a long way from where they started out initially. And now there is not a humongous amount of difference when it comes to cameras in a smartphone. So let's begin with night photography. As you can see in this picture, the color of the sky has been taken into account by the Pixel 6a flawlessly. The sky which the S23 Ultra has captured, it is a bit faded when compared to the Pixel 6a. Smartphone cameras rely on AI a lot these days for their performance. I have explained that in detail in my Samsung S23 Ultra review video as well. The AI processing is quite evident in the S23 Ultra, wherein in the Google Pixel 6a, it is a bit muted and the pictures come out to be more on the natural side of the spectrum. For instance, just look at this picture. You will be able to notice the difference between the two pictures, wherein the Samsung S23 Ultra makes the grass and the trees overly green. Other than that, the quality of the picture captured by both the phones is absolutely amazing. It's just personally, I like the 6A's picture more than the S23 Ultra's. That is not the case with every picture. Look at this shot. The S23 Ultra has done a great job in capturing the sky this time. The Pixel 6A also lacks sharpness and the S23 Ultra takes away the win. The S23 Ultra of course has the advantage of multiple cameras and even the 100x zoom but when it comes to photography i wanted to see who will perform better pictures taken from a distance uh, with street lights they will be better on the pixel the s23 ultra simply fails to handle the flare of the street light this picture has a lot of detail just like the metal pillar besides the car and also the metal gate the s23 ultra does a marvelous job keeping the detail intact wherein the Google Pixel 6a just focuses on the car itself and not the pillar or the gate behind it. When it comes to taking pictures of the moon, you would think that the Samsung S23 Ultra is a clear winner over here. But let me remind you, Samsung uses the AI processing to its teeth while working a moon picture. So when the phone detects that you're about to take a picture of the moon, it drastically brings the exposure down so that you can focus on the moon itself and then it uses the data that it already has of the moon what is it supposed to look like and accordingly it paints you that picture let me now show you some daytime shots wherein both of the phones perform absolutely great and it's very hard to choose one between the two the sky looks blue and not some other shade of blue the clarity the dynamic range overall picture quality that is spot on the area where the s23 ultra really did beat the pixel 6a is taking shots with a human subject in the night. As you would see, the shot taken from the S23 Ultra is much more clearer, it's much more vibrant than the Pixel 6a. When it comes to videography, I think the Pixel 6a does not stand a chance against the S23 Ultra. It is simply because much better cameras, much better AI on the Samsung rather than the Google Pixel's old camera sensor. After this comprehensive camera test, I was able to reach a conclusion the Google Pixel 6a was not able to beat the S23 Ultra and that is what I expected as well but it really did give the S23 Ultra a run for its money and the phone is costing like 27, 28,000 rupees right now. So when you consider the price, I think it's a win for the Pixel 6a. Let me tell you what I would prefer when it comes to taking pictures with these two phones. 
I think I would prefer the Google Pixel 6a because it takes natural pictures. The Google Pixel 6a also does its own processing but it keeps it natural and that is the reason why I would prefer the Google Pixel 6a over the S23 Ultra. With that being said, I would prefer the S23 Ultra if I need to take a picture to post on social media. I hope you enjoyed this one guys. Please comment your opinion down below which one would you prefer and I will see you in my next video guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Huh? Thank you.